to whoever's here, now's your chance to leave. I'll wait. I know you'll do it. Anyways, uh, my OBS tried to trick me into, uh, why would I? <laughs> because I, I have, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, my, my OBS has been trying to trick me because it literally, for some reason, changed my mixer settings back to default for, without my, like, permission. I don't know why, but, like, I, I went, like, if I didn't see it before, I would have been sitting here talking for five minutes without realizing my audio isn't working. <laughs> so, thanks, OBS, for, for some reason doing that every once in a while. With that, like, it doesn't even warn me. It just happens one day. Um, oh yeah, anyways. So, uh, we're gonna be playing some RimWorld. I didn't want to do the tutorial till I started the stream today because I, um... I want everybody to experience the game with me at the same time. Because there's some people who haven't even played it before. And it would be better for us all to learn if we've never played the game before first hand easy right so if that's not your thing then i don't know how long the tutorial is so i guess just deal with it or like leave and then come back later i don't fucking know anyways uh let's start the game actually muck stream what the fuck is muck like mukbang <laughs> you want me to do a mukbang stream Alright, hold on. I wanted to do something on stream. Actually. Hey. I want to do something on stream. Muck is a video game. I've never heard of it. I actually want to grab, um... I'm going to put this away real quick. But, I wanted to... You see how my hair is, right? Do you see how my hair is? Like that? Uh, I'm actually going to comb it. <laughs> so you can see the difference. I did this deliberately. Um, so here's how it looks. It's fine. Whatever. I'm actually gonna move my camera or my streamlabs over so I can see myself. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, move my steam over actually here for now. But hold on. I'll be right back. Hold on. Hold on.
I just realized my mic was muted the whole time. <laughs> Oops. It's not like I really did that much commentary. Anyways. But yeah, there you go. That's the comb thing. Okay. Oh, and I gotta move everything around. Alright. Video game. Was that interesting? At all? Bread? Was that was that interesting? <laughs> I hope it was. Somewhat. I don't know why I'm, I'm sending snapchats, but fuck it, whatever. Okay, let's start the game. <laughs> Flipper Stomper is the best song in the uh, Club Penguin game. The game. I should probably... <laughs> I'll just keep my camera on, I guess. Fuck it. I'll just leave it. Welcome to the colony. Let's start the tutorial. Alright, so, welcome to RimWorld. This tutorial will teach you how to play the game. The first step is to generate a world to play in. This page configures how your world should be generated. The default settings are good, so go ahead and click the generate button. Okay. RimWorld is a story generator. Not a skill test. A ruined colony is a dramatic tragedy. Uh, I was reading that, you fucker. <sighs> okay. Here, you choose your sta starting site. Cli click a temperate t t fuck. Click a temperate forest, light green, with no brown hills. Then click next. Optionally, you can choose the terrain tab and the information about the selected file. So, I need to click a temperate forest. Okay, I clicked a temperate forest with a bunch of information. So, I can't really do much with that. So, I guess I'll, I'll click next now you choose which characters you want to use drag a character from the left behind part of the character list at the bottom onto the selected part at the top okay optionally clicking a character will allow you to expect him or her interesting so we have madrid they are female, age 56. Their childhood was a wolf pack member. She was discarded by her family raised by wolves. She ran, hunted, and defended her pack. She, uh, she learned to fight efficiently by tooth and claw. She's also learned brutality effective primal hunting strategies. 
firefighting is disabled. Adulthood behavior research. Captured as a feral child, Marjot was forced into the ways of modern society. She quickly adapted and became a behavioral researcher, eventually owning a private facility. What the fuck? She went from literal caveman to <laughs> like 100 IQ scientists like working as a marine biologist for Disney on like the Disney's private island. She also specializes in canines, but she learned a great deal about all animals. She never had interest in plants, however. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Art disabled. Oh, shame. That's That sucks. Melee. What does this little icon mean? Level 14 master. Passion interest learns 100%. Is that what the fire means? I don't know what the fire means. I guess it's just like their passion for that specific section. Interesting. And then we have Van. He was a shelter child. Grew up in shelter deep beneath the toxic world. He received a comprehensive education, but no opportunity to do physical labor. So he basically is... He's a nerd. <laughs> he's a, a nerd. Okay. Van worked in a very large office complex, along with thousands of other suited drones. The work itself consisted of endless organizational drudgery and pointless meetings punctuated by the occasional performance review. Incapable of nothing. He, he is... He is not incapable of anything. <laughs> He's steadfast and lazy, though. There's a lot of things here. His brother is Luke Wells, which we have here. And his ex-wife is Selma Marjot. They're, they were wives. His mother is Selma Marjot. Oh, this is Josh Joshua Marjot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where's... Soma. Soma Marjot. Wait. Soma Marjot. That's the wife. <gasps> oh. <laughs> uh, they're incapable of being artistic and firefighting, but their traits are chemical interests. Too, they're too smart. Marjot is too smart for her own good. She learns everything much faster than everyone, but she can be quite eccentric. Uh-oh. And she has a chemical interest. She's nimble. That's good. Yeah, Van is 47, by the way. Uh, I forgot to mention that. Phoebe, here we go. What happened to you? Age 43, female. They were a test subject. What? Test subject 11,529,914 of experiment number 56,048. Spent her childhood in white rooms, performing mental and physical tests. Her only companion was a voice that called itself Mother. Mother rewarded success as uh, with praise and failure with harsh punishment. Holy shit. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Okay. They're good with mailing cooking? An intellectual? That doesn't seem right. Uh... Phoebe's okay adulthood Phoebe's tests were from geometry uh, geometry to quantum physics and she could run the grand gauntlet without a, a scratch one day mother said that her final test lay beyond the, the red door and that even if she couldn't hear her voice mother would always be there okay that seems a little bit sus sussy Melee plus five, uh, cooking plus one, elect, intellect, fuck, okay, intellectual plus five, okay. So they have a lot of intellect. Um, caring, they're incapable of caring about people. She can't, she does not like, uh, working with doctors. Uh, she does not like working with minors. She does not l like working with wardens. She hates growing and planting. But she has a chemical interest and she is slothful. Okay. Wait. Dude. <laughs> Phoebe has a lot of intelligence. 
All right, Summers. We, we have to drag them up here, I guess, right? Oh, wait, so you can actually... Okay, hold on. I want... I want... Yeah, yeah, I want this. I want Phoebe, Van, and Margit. Phoebe is a very interesting character. We have these characters, too. But... Right Pinky, Old Gunshot, Wells... Oh, okay. Samantha. Wow, she is, like, fucked. <laughs> and then there's Selma. Uh, and then you have this person. Okay, we're gonna stick with Marget, Van, and Phoebe. Alright. Let's go... Why would I randomize it here? I'll randomize this character. Great. <laughs> Reorder and randomize more if you want, but don't try to get perfect characters. Everyone has flaws, and it makes the story more interesting. Yeah. I'll keep Samantha, and I guess Frenchie. I'll keep Frenchie. Enjoy. Official content core. What the fuck is royal- like- Royalty. So royalty has like a bunch of sh stuff going on. Interesting. But I don't know if I want it yet. The three of you awake in your cr uh, crypto sleep. Sarcophagi. To, uh, to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later you land in this unknown rim world. As pieces of... The shredded starship fall around you. You start making plans to survive. You can also zoom in with the scroll wheel. This means you you never, um, you can pause time. This means you never need to rush. You can always pause and take your time to issue orders. That's good. Interesting. Try controlling time with one, two, and three with the... Alright, great. Now make a stockpile so your colonists will, uh, will know where to keep items. Click Architect tab. Okay. Click Zone slash Area Category. Okay. Select the Create Stockpile tool, okay. Click and drag where the indicated area on the map. Ah. Right click to get out of the stockpile designing mode. Now allow your colonists to bring items to the stockpile. You must remove all their forbidden designations. Click your starting items. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Okay. Wait, how do I just allow... You can double-click an item to select all... Oh, okay, I get it. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Is there a way for you to just select everything? No? There's no way for you to just do that? Okay, so I just have to click everything. Norm. Norm. 
All right, awesome. Next, we'll build a room. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll let them do their thing. Um, next, we'll build a room. Click arch Architect, Structure, and select Wall. Now, just place a door besides the wall. Can I rotate this? How do you rotate an item? Can you rotate? I, I guess you can't rotate. So I guess I'll just place it here. And then... Your countess will build the room. Now they need somewhere to sleep. Place the three beds inside the room. Find furniture category. Click Q and E to rotate the building. What? Okay, so... Furniture... Bed. Okay, so you can rotate these. There's your three beds. You also want to uh, light inside so your colonists... Or your colonists will get grumpy in the dark. Build a torch lamp inside your room. Okay. Here, you can have... One torch lamp. Have fun. So your pet will sleep inside with you. Place an animal sleeping spot inside the room. Okay. There's your animal sleeping spot. We'll need sources of recreation or they'll get sad over time. Build a horseshoes pin outside near the room. Recreation horseshoes pen. Like, I'll build it like right. I'll build it like right here, I guess. Your colonists will need something to eat. Place a growing zone. Okay. You can decide what plant your colonists should sow in a growing area. Right click to exit the architect mode. Click your growing zones and select it. You have to change it to rice. I guess rice is always good. What the hell is rice? Oh, there it is, rice. Click a colonist and select them. Okay, let's give let's give uh, Phoebe. Weapon you want to equip. Okay. Phoebe, go equip the revolver. Um do this for each colonist. Oh, everyone has to have a gun. Here, you can have this. And, um... Here, you can have the knife. Go get the knife. Nice. To make a stove to cook food. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I, why wouldn't we need a stove? Uh, let's place it, like, right here. Cooking orders are added on the stove itself. Okay. Once a bill has been created, colonists will do the work automatically. Okay. Wait for the stove to be built. Click on the stove, select it. Open the bills tab. Click add bills, select cook simple meal on the context, click the plus button to increase the count to 10. Remember, you can speed up the time if building takes is taking too long. Uh, what? 
As Marjorie draws, draws near an ancient wall, a sense of foreboding overcomes her. She isn't sure why, uh, but she feels this duty and structure may contain great danger. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, this thing. Okay, then. Mar- Marjot? 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 Okay. Well, we're good. Okay, let's just speed up the time, I guess. Fuck it. Do it. What are you, a dog? Yorkshire Terrier, age 10. Doesn't really do much, does it? There's a fucking rabbit. Um, thanks to high mood, Feeve has experienced an inspiration. She'll work faster for the next- Okay, cool. Enjoy. I guess. Marja is just- In pain. Why are you in pain? Okay, well, I can't see why Marjorie's in pain. That's cool. That's epic. Cook a si simple meal. Okay. Okay, now your colonists will cook some food tasty. Next, you'll want to mine some minerals. I've spawned some mineable steel near your base. Okay. Select the mine orders. There. You want to harvest some wood. Designate some trees to be chopped. Click chop woods. This is a get to ch chop like ten wood. Okay. Here. You can control which colonist does what work. Open the the work tab on the bottom screen. Okay. You can control who does what kinds of work using the check boxes. Colonists will do tasks in order to form left to right, or in order from left to right. Try changing some settings now. Colonists always follow their work priorities, even if this makes them do dumb things. Setting up a smart work regime is an important um, skill in RimWorld, so set the work setting carefully and review them often. Okay. So it needs... Let's have Phoebe. Well, obviously we need someone to go hunting, but they're, they're gonna do hauling, cleaning, and research. They also do construction. I think most of them does, could do this, uh, construction actually. But um, we do need a person to do some uh, mining. Let's see here. Let's have let's have one person do mining, and then let's have a person cut trees, which we already have right here drone is, or van is is cutting the the trees right now so that should be fine yeah, they'll, they'll start doing all that stuff Production. Simple research bench. Okay, so yeah, we need we need research bench. I'll probably put it like. Let's put it like right here. 
something. Excellent. You want to select what you want to be researched. Go to the research tab. Oh boy. This game do be kind of complicated though. Oh god, I accidentally alt tabbed. Hold on. Here we go. Now just choose whatever you want to be researched first. You might have to wait for the research bench to be constructed for ch or for trees to be chopped for wood. Okay. Whatever you, I guess I just choose something. I guess electricity would was, is nice, but I guess we. Um. Let's see. What would be a good one to to do? I guess a recursive bow would be nice. A recurve bow. Sorry. Let's do recurve bell. That's always a good one to do. That'll help with um hunting. Okay, so colonists, now you'll learn how to expand the home area. Colonists will clean floors and extinguish fires in the home area only and ignore fires or filth outside of it. The home area is added automatically when you build things. You can also expand it manually. Select the expand home tool and drag out new areas on the map. Okay. Uh... This is home. Okay. The build proof area defines uh, where colonists will try to build roofs. Roofs. It auto fills when you enclose a new room. Expand roof area. In the front of the house. Oh, hold on. There is no oak tree. There's literally no oak tree. Okay. Okay, Gim. This house doesn't even finish building, by the way. I just wanted to mention that. Now you've got a basic colony running. Eventually, enemies will raid your colony. It's time to prepare for that. Select the sandbags designator and drag the sandbags out to the designated area. Perfect. Let's just wait for all the constructions to be built. Consider using the work tab to assign more colonists to construct. Okay. Okay, hold on. We need more people to actually do construction. Okay. They're busy mining like wooden stuff. No, this bed hasn't even been built yet. Okay. <laughs> they haven't even built him a bed. So Van is sleeping outside.
Oh my god. Why is there trees in the house? Sorry, I'm um I'm waiting for the colonists to eventually do what they need to do. What is this? What what do you want to do here? What is this? What does this do? Oh god. Yes, okay, so okay, so what let's wait for all the constructions to be built. Okay. Um, consider the work tab assignment. Okay, so. What is this? Why is it, why is it on this? Allow? Please wait your, to finish building the sand, the sandbags are built. What do you mean? They are built, my friend. Okay, apparently not. Apparently the sandbags are not built, even though they are. <laughs> is there other sandbags they wanted me to build? What am I watching? This is a colony sim. Oh, we have to build this thing. Okay, that's what that means. So these guys just kind of do stuff. Okay. You have sent a raider to your colony. Okay, pause the game in any space. Read the red letter at the bottom right. I'm watch I'm playing the tutorial. A group of tribes people from the the Kroga Treaty have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. Oh god. There they are. They're really far away. But they'll eventually get here. Okay. So we need to draft our colonists by selecting your colonists and selecting draft command. Okay. It's time to draft. I'm winning the fight. Okay. Draft. You. Go there. Margaret, who's in pain. You. Go there. Okay. You guys got this. I'm I'm counting on you. We're we're about to have a big fight. It's up to it's up to you guys to defend this land. And Sha Shalimar, you keep sleeping. Okay. Here they come. Oh! The fight is starting. Oh god. It's Walrus! Oh god. Phoebe. Success, now undraft your colonists using the command. Okay. You are undrafted now. Good job, guys. You did it. What are you doing? Female in shock. So they're, they're just, they're still alive. <laughs> Wait, hold up. That's the end of the tutorial. There's tons to learn, including prisoners, 
uh, hunting, trade animal, taming, and much more, but you've got to, you got the basics down. Random incidents were disabled during this tutorial. To begin the real game, open the menu tab and click the bottom right, select options, click storyteller settings, appeals to you. Okay, options, let's see. Storyteller settings. The AI storyteller creates events like pirate raids, resource drops, or animal attacks. Their choice will affect how the story of your colony can change in these times. What does she do? Okay, so Cassandra Classic. Um, Cassandra creates story events on a classic increasing curve of challenge and tension. She'll push you with dangerous events, then give you breathing room, then come back to push once more. Peaceful. Wait, I can choose her thing. Build a community in a sandbox environment. Major direct threats. This is really cool. Are disabled. But challenges like disease, mental breaks, mad animals. Um, still occur. Community builder. Build a community with a taste of danger. Threats appear, but they are weakened. Recommended for players who are new to this kind of game. Players who want to build the perfect colony. And players who want to relax. That's cool. Adventure story. This is room to uh, this. There's room to grow and thrive, but it's still a dangerous planet. Ex uh, recommended for experienced strategy gamers on their first game of RimWorld. Experienced RimWorld players who want to some breathing room to pursue funny or weird goals. Strive to survive. Tough planet will triumph. Experienced players who want a rough. Okay, blood and dust. Survival challenges. People will die. That's interesting. Losing is fun. This setting is designed to be unfair. Huge threats will crash upon you without mercy until your colony dies. Only choose this setting if you are happy with the drama of struggling and dying. I love that. Lovers of tragedy and digital masochists. That sounds fun. Obviously, we're probably going to do that, but I want to see what these people do. Phoebe gives lots of time between disasters to build your colony, but beware. At high difficulties, she'll hit as hard as anyone. So yeah, so she kind of... It's all the same thing, but they play differently. Randy doesn't follow the rules. He'll generate random events, and he doesn't care if they make the story or triumph or utter hopelessness. It's all drama to him. Warning, since Randy is truly random, he will sometimes send extremely difficult or unfair groups of events at you. It makes it for high drama and unavoidable sacrifices. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm going to keep Randy random. <laughs> Randy random you're the one that I want and we'll keep community builder for now but I do want to eventually do like something like strive to survive maybe or adventure uh adventure story I'm not really I'm not really I've never really played strategy games so I don't know uh okay there I did it learning helper okay well, I want to do like a completely new colony that's not this, just for the sake of just making it more fun. So, yeah, there you go. There, There's the tutorial, I guess. Very interesting, basic tutorial. We're going to start a new colony. We have different ones we can choose from. We have uh, Crash Landed. The three of you wake up in your crypto sleep sarcophagi. And to the sound of sirens and ripping metal, you barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Some time later, you land on an unknown Rim World. Rim World. Your faction will be new arrivals. Start with three people, chosen from eight. Start with a bunch of equipment from what we saw in the tutorial. Lost Tribe. Your tribe was destroyed by the great blood machine sent by the gods. Five of you managed to escape. Now it's time to build up a new home. Since you start poor and lack technology, it's, it's a difficult scenario. Your factum will be a, true, a new tribe. Start with five people, chosen from eight. A rich explorer. You're called, um, people called you crazy for leaving your glitter world. Uh, world home, but you always ye yearned. Fuck, you always yearned to explore the stars outside the neuro simulator. Now, you're at the end of your long journey in cryo sleep or crypto sleep. 
landing on an unknown rim world to see what it's like. Note, since your starting character will lack some skills, this is an especially difficult scenario in the early game. Your faction will be Your faction will be a new arrivals. Uh start with one people. Okay. Uh chosen from eight. Start with research gun turret. Naked brutality. You went under a static for a minor surgery now you've awoken in a drop pod crashing into a planet you're naked alone and totally unprepared can you survive warning this is nothing this is there is nothing fair about the scenario it's extremely difficult and death can happen for any reason your faction will be new you start with one person okay i guess we'll do crash landed because this is just the basic one and we're gonna do Randy Random with Community Builder. Actually, let's do... Adventure Story. Experienced strategy gamers in their first game of RimWorld. Experienced RimWorld players who want some breathing room to pursue funny... Okay. We'll do adventure story. It can be changed anytime. That's cool. Wait, what? Please choose commitment mode or reload any time mode. Oh. Any time you want. This is a good choice if you're still learning the game. If it fits your personal playstyle. If you're using mods that may break the game, or if you tend to uh, self-enforce commitment mode. You can only save when quitting the game. Since RimWorld is a story generator, when losing all, even losing all but one person, is not the end of the game. It's part of the story. The game is designed to allow recovery after losses. Playing out these terrible situations makes a, a story with both tragedy and triumph it's the way rimworld was designed to be played there's a reason luke skywalker didn't quit and reload when his family got killed loss and recovery is dramatic i love it let's do commitment <laughs> uh the seed let's do a randomized sad <laughs> global coverage uh what is your pl the planet is always the same diameter but it's since it's far larger than needed to play we won't generate the whole surface because it can be very it can take very long time this percentage of the surface is what you generated what if i did a hundred percent to generate the entire planet an entire planet okay <laughs> let's just do 30 percent that'll be fine Overall rainfall, let's just keep it at everything at normal. No comments on that. Let's re let's do it. Single person uh, caravans can. Okay. Welcome. How do I like rotate the, the world? Oh, there we go. Okay. Boreal Forest. Can you give me more information on the Boreal Forest? The planet is called Zosma Prior. Seed is sad. Terrain. Here we go. Despite the harsh winters, Boreal Forest sustain a diverse population. Spawn large animals and have warm summers. That's good. Ice Sheet. Okay, so those are really hard to survive in. What is this? That is a... <laughs> Who are these people? Plenty Creek. Hold on, <laughs> let's look at Plenty Creek. They're in an extreme desert. Wait, what's, uh, what's Rio's? I could live on an island. 
That would be kind of fun, just living on a little island here. Temperate forest. Forests of... Yeah, yeah, we know what a temperate is for. That's always nice, but I think we should do a fun little... Let's do a boreal forest. That's a little colony there. For you. Or is it a colony? Hostile. They, they hate us. Everything hates us. Got it. <laughs> for now. Oh, the Imps Mountain definitely hates us. They do not like our existence. What if we did, like, right around here, right? It's nice and flat. Mountainous. This is just a nice plain, you know? Let's, what is this? This is the tundra, yeah, yeah. Uh... Growing period of juggest. <laughs> Wait, how how hot is like? This is like about fourteen. Okay, so it's actually fucking cold if we go in. Let's do a temperate forest, honestly, because this is just a nice, decent like temperature and stuff. Let's do it like right around. Let's do it like right around here, I think. Flat. Yeah. Let's do it, like, right here. Th ah! Yeah. Right here is fine. Temperate forest. Forests of... Desidibidibiduis. Uh, trees inter... Spursed, interspersed with fertile clearings. Many species of animals move along... Around among the trees on the plains. Stone types. Marble and granite. Granite, sorry. Not granite. Granite. And limestone. We'll just do marble and granite. Uh, berries. Animals can graze now. Yes. Time zones. Minus four. She sees frequency. 1.2 per year. Southern coast. Yeah. Elevation. Okay. This... Oh yeah, what factions do we have? We have... Uh, the, um, the Hatilla. Okay. Pirates. What's advanced have? That's fine. Okay. What do we have as our first selected characters here? We have a drifter, female, age 45. Shop kid, dweeb. <laughs> Their name's Darcy Dweeb Moreno. I could, I think I could legit like name them myself if I wanted to. They seem like very passionate. And this character might be pretty good. New arrivals. Yeah. Uh, so. Dweeb's mother was often ill, and it felt it, it fell to her to run the store, which was their only source of income. She learned a lot, a, a little about the exotic artifacts which she sold, and a lot about the art of deal. Social plus four, intellectual plus four. That's good. Drifter. Dweeb never figured out what to do with her life. She traveled uh, often, taking up casual work wherever she found it. She also occasionally worked on a novel that she knew would be a bestseller just as soon as she could find a publisher who is interested. Construction plus three, cooking plus three, and artistic plus minus four. She's not incapable of anything. Um, her traits are neurotic. She likes to have things squared away. She will work harder than most to attain this state of affairs, but her n nerves uh, can get the better of her. Global work speed. Okay. Kind. It is exceptionally kind. She has a special way of using kind words to brighten someone's day. She never insults others. Okay. And uh, never judges people by their appearance. She does, however, 
have a scratch scar on her right shoulder. It's just a scratch or tear. Uh, loves animals. Taming, training, and controlling animals. About three, that's like, I guess, a passion, but... Or, I don't know what that does, honestly. She has a three on those. Intellectual, about seven. Um, mining, ten. Okay. We have Jerbear. Oof. Look at this guy. A stab scar and an old gunshot that's itchy. Ex-wife is Misha Me Aldemar. Which is... Opinion of me is minus 15. Ex-wife minus 15. His opinion of me is the same. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Jerry Jerbear Welch. Childhood abductee. Jer Bear was abducted by Xenohumans when he was still a baby. They experimented on him to understand his genetic structure. As he grew up, Jer Bear grew a little bit too big and strong for his captors to and escaped. Melee plus four, construction plus two, mining plus four, social minus two. Researching is disabled for them. Crafting synthesized drugs is disabled, and then a spy. Jerbear, our lovely Jerbear, was trained by the, his government in infiltration espionage. He learned to keep a cool head and talk his way out of uh, tight situations. When talking um, didn't work, he was capable of more violent direct action. Shooting, melee, and social, plus seven. Jeez, man. His social is like 10, but his intellectual is, he just cannot, he cannot do researching whatsoever. So we need someone who can research. Which I guess could be someone. Uh, at some point he had something going on, but yeah, he's a, he has an old gun want, uh, gunshot wound. And a stab scar. Hans, who is a sheriff so that we have a drifter or spy and a sheriff um ooh, we cannot have them we, we we cannot only have one person like honestly let's see let's see what we got we have a ninja assassin we can work with a child spy so we can have two spies uh medieval minstrel <laughs> a counselor and a bounty hunter. I feel like Tom would be a good choice. Huh? Tom looks like John Arbuckle. <laughs> it's, it's John Arbuckle. <laughs> I feel like this should be fucking John. <laughs> okay. And his daughter is... is um, Where is she? Lucky. His daughter is lucky. Interesting. Okay, I really want to get Tom, though. <laughs> John Arbuckle. You know, honestly, I kind of want that. But yeah, let's... Joannis, uh, Hans von Ludwig. Let's see here. Bite scar, aching. child a cult child hans was born into a powerful cult which stunned advanced technology and believed that all illness could be cured by cleansing the soul through sacred art after the uh his first glimpse of this is a male age 45 this is a male age 72 female okay so after a first glimpse of the world he decided to run away okay so art is five medical is minus three and now he cannot craft drugs and he cannot do research. Sheriff. Hans was a law enforcer in an isolated industrial town. He dealt with pl uh, petty crime, dispute resolution, and occasional drunken saloon shootout. That's cool. But yeah, no. Psych. 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 What the fuck can I. I cannot say this word. Psych. Key, psych, 
psychically there why could I not say that psychically dull Hans mind is psychically out of tune with others he isn't as affected by psychic phenomenon that's cool um abrasive is all Hans always says exactly what's on his mind especially if it's bugging him okay I'd probably not gonna do I'm probably gonna get rid of of uh Hans here But, you know, for now at least. I don't know what the left behind means yet. I'll be, I'm actually going to be right back. I need to get a drink. Okay, let's see here. I got a uh, some some uh, uh pudding. I got pudding. If I can open it, I uh, okay. Wait, I got it. Wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. I almost got it. Okay, come on, get off. Oh god, please get off. Oh god. Oh fuck. God, oh fuck. Shit. Get the fuck off my goddamn thing. Ah. Ah. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay. I got it. It has like, um... It has like a... Whipped cream. Chocolate chips and um, like crushed up Oreo. Mm. Mm. It's best when you can mix it up. But sometimes you don't really get that option. 
Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So we have Maisha M Me. Uh, Aldermar. Aldermar. Pampered. Oh. Nah, nah, nah. Let's check out John Arbuckle. Male 57, a sickly child. As a child, Tom suffered from a rare disease, quarantined in the hospital. He had minimal human contact and got little physical exercise. In the sterile hospital environment, however, he became very familiar with science and medication and medicine. So he sucks at melee construction, but he's good at medical. He kind of sucks at social, which is kind of weird. His intellectual is plus four. He's a counselor. Terrifying trauma when Tom was a young adult caused him to develop a serious eating disorder. With counseling, he learned um, to have a healthier relationship with food and decided to put his new skills to use, helping others overcome their emotional problems. Social plus nine. Cooking is disabled, though. He cannot cook for some reason. <laughs> um, he's a mistress, uh, or mis mis misogynist. Wait, misogyny. Wait. Misan misandrist. Is that how you say that? Tom really dislikes and distrusts men. Slothful, loves idleness and hates anything productive. He moves slowly and rarely stays focused on a task. Kind. Tom is exceptionally kind. Such a way of using words. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he has um, cataract on both of his eyes. So he has cataracts. Okay. <laughs> Shooting sucks. His mining literally can't do anything except for animals, a little bit of crafting, uh, medical, social, and intellectual are where he's at the most. I think we should put him up here. Alright. Um, let's do this. We have Child Spy, which she doesn't have much going on. Um, a lucky medieval minstrel. He has asthma. <laughs> Ooh. Or she has asthma. Oof. But their shooting in melee is god tier. How the fuck do you have asthma and you're good at, like, melee? <laughs> Jesus. But they can't do anything, really. They really can't do anything. They're a hard worker, but they can't do anything related to hard working. <laughs> So they're they're a hard worker at not being able to do anything. Got it. <laughs> cool. Bounty hunter. Ooh, fucking bounty hunter is fucking cool. War child though. Wait, what would happen with a war child? He is not caring at all. He does not care for others. Should have given him like. One of his health things is like, um, yeah. So Tom here, it's John Arbuckle. We have the John Arbuckle <laughs> in our group. What does John even do in, in real life? His passion is burning. He has a burning passion for socializing and medical. I feel like John would have no social abilities whatsoever. Okay. If I were to be able to create a character, I would. Oh yeah, we have a learning helper. So this will help us learn things. There's so many things that we haven't really learned. Like mining... Things like that. Interesting. 
Okay. Well, we have our boys. And girl. Your boy, our boys and girl. Jer bear. Our brute. Dweeb. Our average person who has nothing much going on. Honestly, I might switch out Dweeb for someone who might be able to help out, like, um, Mushinto. Honestly, I think I'm gonna switch out Dweeb for Mushinto. Because of his ability to be able to do stuff like, um, shooting, melee, um, then again, this character's very just all around, so they, we might actually just keep Dweeb as much as a lot of their skills are very low, but at least they can raise them in the future. So they're very normal compared to John and Jerbear. Okay. Okay. We've already read this, so. <gasps> A raccoon. It's a raccoon. Alerts. The alerts on the right edge of your screen. I will learn. I've learned that. Look at him go. Nice ruins. This this is our land. That must be water. All right. So, we need to build... What are these? Rock rubble. Okay. So, right... Let's just place it right here. Oh, look! A, a, a Gorda, a guinea pig. Look at that. Okay. Uh, architect. We have a zone. We, let's put a stockpile zone here. This will be our stockpile zone. Hold on, wait. Um. Okay. Let's make everything allow, like the tutorial said, right? Okay. Everything is good. Okay. Get to work, boys. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um... Structure. Let's add a wooden wall. Uh, let's add a building here, I guess. Let's kind of make it like this big. Add a door, like, here. Okay. 
and then um Why are you puking? Y you okay, dude? Power suits with Jerbear. Are you okay? Whole body. He is puking. From his sickness. From crypto sleep sickness. Okay, then. He was just vomiting his, like organs out so that he's he's fine now but he just kind of left the whole mess there of just vomit okay yeah, and he's doing the construction i feel like other people could probably help doing the construction but i feel like everything is specifically designed for them for you but if you want to choose yourself then you can um I guess we should do, um, let's see here. Orders. Let's do some cutting, like some tree cutting. Chop wood. Let's have someone chopping all these woods here. All these trees around here. Cut all those and see what happens. Oh, whatever. Okay, those are gonna be cut. Um... Oh, someone's vomiting. Oh, him. Again. John. Vomiting his body out. Same with Dweeb. Everyone's vomiting. What is this? Oh, it looks like we have some compacted steel. Awesome. Let's, uh... Let's order people... Let's order someone to mine those. Because those are going to be nice uh, nice to have. I don't know how deep it'll go. But that'll be nice to have. Um, let's do a... Let's add the, uh, the wooden beds here. Let's kind of do like... Kind of like that. Yeah. And then... Let's do a... Let's add a wonderful... Where is it? Structure? No. Um, production. Here we go. We need a fuel stove. We'll add it right in this building here. We'll add it even. We'll add it right here. Oh god. We'll have speed, work speed penalty. So if it's built outdoors, then it's... Oh, because it is actually technically outdoors. Um, okay. So if you build... They want you to have that indoors, obviously. Uh, we do want a... Things, simple items like knives, bows, and production here. Art bench. A research bench. We should definitely build something like this. Uh, let's do it like right here. Okay. Yeah, that'll that'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. Do your thing. So we have a pet guinea pig as our friend. Got it. And then we'll even build a... An animal sleeping box. We'll put it right here. Wait, right... Let's put it right here. They can sleep in the corner. Or we can give them an actual bed, but that would mean that we'd have cloth, which we don't have, so. <laughs> Are you part of the pet? No, you're just a random raccoon. Just hanging around. Look at him go. 
We're, let's tame the raccoon. Someone tame that raccoon. He's gonna become our pet. I'm gonna name it too, if I can. How do I rename something? I guess you can't rename animals. Let's see. I'm actually kind of curious on what will happen here. Raccoon's just kind of going in our house now. That's not even finished building. People are too busy vomiting. Um, who's doing the mining? Um, Jer Bear. Okay. Yeah, cut those trees. Okay. Uh, let's just make some delicious meal. Let's cook a simple meal like the game told us in the tutorial. Ba bam. Easy. It's a simple meal. Do it X times. Allow fresh meat, vegetation, any workers. Take to best stockpile. Yeah, there's a lot of just simulation management stuff going on here. What is John doing? What's going on, John? He's going for a walk. Why? He doesn't have a, he's not a big fan of Jer Bear. John chatted about practicing with Pikes with Jer Bear. Jer Bear and John joked about food. I guess they, they've been getting better. They're becoming better friends now, actually. Jer Bear made a comment about guilty pleasures to John. John joked about power armor suits with Jer Bear. Here's his bio. His needs. Yeah, food is very important. Whoever can get the food done would be good. I want this house to be finished. They're just kind of going for a walk now. You guys want to, I don't know, build the house, perhaps? I don't know what, like, their priorities are at this point. I hope they can tame that funny raccoon who is running away. Please, raccoon, come back. Please. Oh, there's more materials here that we can mine. Ah, uh, Jer Bear is busy mining. Very cool. We also have this stuff over here as well. Um, orders. We have this stuff to mine as well. That would be pretty good to mine. I don't know how deep this goes, so I'm just gonna kind of do that. Uh, if people want to help, then sure. Go at it. Oh, poor John. Okay, well they're 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 doing a little snoo snoo, a little sleep. It's going back to mining. Content. 
We should really make someone who's willing to cook. Drifter. Okay. We really need you to cook. I would really prefer... Huh, you can actually choose where the priorities are. That's cool. I want that fucking racket. What the hell are you guys? A bloomalope. Cool. I mean, hey, it's good that we're getting all this, uh, steel. I don't know what we'll use it for, but we'll eventually need it, I'd assume. Um, let's look at the, uh, production here. Chisels for cutting stone chunks into usable blocks. Okay. We have a, uh, an electric... whatever. What is this? This is a simple research building, but we need to do we need to start doing some research here. I think a recurve bell would be a pretty good option, I'd assume. Or um Let's see. We already have electricity nutrient paste. Interesting. Colored lights. I don't think that's really I think solar panel would be a good one. So we can get some solar energy. Um, but I don't even think we're anywhere near making something like that right now. I think um, Recurve Bow is where, where we gotta put our research into. What's up? What did you just do? Never said a word about recreation to Dweeb. Okay. Sure, Bear. Interesting. Yeah, you, you keep uh, doing that, buddy. You're doing great. Just keep uh keep mining that. You're doing great, Jerbear. You're our our tough boy. You're you're our main guy. Oh, he's going faster there. Compacted steel. You're almost done, Jerbear. We can finish the house. Okay. But yeah, they're doing their thing. Which is nice. Okay, so we definitely... He's just going for a walk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm sorry, but your your work right now needs to not be mining at the moment. You should just be doing some construction right now. I just don't think anybody should be mining right now. I think we need someone to be doing construction at the moment. Honestly. I appreciate you doing the mining, but I think you should construct the fucking building. We need someone to be doing some fucking wood cutting. Plant cutting. Where the fuck is cutting trees? <laughs> Where's the cutting trees? Okay. Hunting. I honestly feel like Jer Bear is like the guy that's doing all the good work, essentially. Create weapons. Okay. 
Taylor Art Craft Hall Research. We have two people who can do some research here. Okay, just... I just want fucking Jer Bear to finish the house! Finally, okay, John's doing research now, which is good. There! Holy shit. He's actually gonna finish the fucking house, let's see. What is he doing? He's going for a walk? What are you doing? What are you doing? He's coming all the way over here. And now he's moving around. Holy shit, he finally did it. Okay. Finally. Oh my god, yes. Thank you. Okay. He's cutting wood, uh, which is good. What are you doing? Okay, let's let's look at Psychic Smooth. Every male colonist smiles with con uh, contentment. Some distant engine of happiness is stirring it. Um, it is projecting a psychic drone onto the site through an orbital amplifier tuned to only affect males. For a few days, some people's mood will be a quite bit better. Why? <laughs> Why is someone specifically doing that? I'm actually going to um, make uh, the stockpile zone even bigger. Wait, hold on. Let's do a uh, regular stockpile zone. Like, let's do it like right here. In fact, this is a good spot right here. It's like the dump stockpile zone, and this is like <clears throat> the regular stockpile zone. So like people can put shit in here, I guess. And I could even choose like what it is and everything who's the one taming hold on who can tame animals i'd assume taming would be at like a low priority Someone go tame the fucking raccoon right now. Someone please go tame the raccoon. <laughs> uh, llamas. Or oh, apacas. Kill them. Slaughter. Good. Good. We can use them for materials and food. Very good. Let's actually grab a weapon for them. Um, what's your skills again, John? Uh, let me check your skills. Your bio. Uh, you suck at everything, so you don't get a weapon, actually. Um, now, our boy here. We're going to give him melee. So, go grab a knife or something. Hold on. You, go grab, like, the knife. Uh, or actually, just keep the gun, honestly. You can have the bolt action, and you can have the... You can have the pistol. But, John, you can have, like, a fucking knife or something. I don't, I don't care, honestly. Everybody has their shit, I guess. John, you get nothing. You're you're pointless. You are a pointless human being. Oh, you know what I need to do? Completely forgot to do this. I forgot to add um a torch in here. We'll place it like right here. Let's see. Nice. 
Oh, there's a nice little light in there. What's going on? Can we add a, like, floor? Floors? Yeah, yeah, let's add a, uh... Let's add a, um... Well, we don't have sandstone currently, but we do have concrete. Let's place some concrete on the ground. Let's get some, let's get some, some stuff going on, you know? What do these alpacas have anyways? Not refrigerated. Spoils and... So we need to actually make a refrigerator, shouldn't we? If we even can. Do we even know how to make one of those? Let's see. Architect. Uh, architect. Let's see. Security. We need to get cloth and stuff for that. How would he even get cloth? Okay, well. Maybe in the, the next day. <sighs> Look at them sleep. Look at them slumber. There's our pet guinea pig. Alpacas join. And joining the colony, I instantly killed them. They're dead. I killed the alpaca alpacas. Jair Bear Spy's gotten sick from a plague. Ensure you have medical bed and a doctor to make sure he gets proper treatment. Okay. He is now sick with a disease, which means we need to <laughs> make a medical bed. Which we don't have. Um, okay. Jair Bear. You have a minor plague. So what you need to do... You need to just not do anything. John, or sorry, Jer Bear, you need to just sleep all day, and you're restricted to your home. Wait, actually, we can make a zone. Okay. can make this area one I don't know what area one is but sure is you're gonna be restricted to area one until you get away from this disease you need to chill out and our boy here John is gonna help you throughout the day which is gonna be helping I don't know how bad your disease is but you know it's getting cleaned up. You're getting some kind of, you know, protection, but can't help you for too long, you know? Uh, wildlife, let's see. Holy shit. We should go hunting. Who, who's the hunter in this, in this area? Who's the hunter? Hunting, hunting, hunting. Who's hunting? Apparently, John is the hunter. Oh, we'll make we'll make Dweeb also a hunter as well. In the schedule, we're gonna obviously make what's this? Recreate recreation. What's this storage tab? Selecting them in the storage tab above the bottom left inspector pane. Okay, so you can actually just straight up categorize everything, which is really neat. Thanks. Forbidden doors. So colonists and tame animals won't go through them.
Doors are always locked, so enemies can't pass freely, forbidding. Just directs your uh, colonists not to use the doors, okay. Most important thing to do in ranged combat is to use cover, okay. Um, cover only works if your colonist is touching it. And between your colonists and the enemies, you can place the colonists behind corners. Learn lean out to shoot. Most things can be used as cover, but some things are better than others. Hiding behind a tree is better than nothing, but hiding behind sandbags is better than using a tree. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. You stay in bed. Do your thing. How are you feeling, Jerbear? The best quality medicine. Interesting. Okay, well, he's doing his thing. <sighs> we need to build a refrigerator, apparently, but I don't even think we can. How would you even make a refrigerator? Okay. Um. Power. Miscellaneous. Let's see. Miscellaneous. You can build a grave. A marriage spot. Recreation. Ah, so recreation, they can, like, do stuff. That's cool. Are they gonna build that floor, though? Probably not. Temperature. Oh, yeah. A nice little temperature would help. A cooler. Ah, we can actually build that. Or create a walk-in freezer. We can make a freezer, dude. Okay, hold up. Let's make a freezer with a cooler. That would be very nice to have. Okay. Let's see. Uh, structure. Wooden walls. We only have one person to do construction though. And he's like sick with the plague. So he legit can't really do much. Um, which is kind of annoying. So we're going to have someone else do construction. If they are even willing to. And we're going to build a nice big area with a door that goes right here we're gonna add floors to said room we're gonna make it paved because why not and then we're gonna obviously add a temperature in here wait Let's do that. Let's see what happens with that. <clears throat> We're gonna make a, a cooler, and then we also need to we need to prioritize work here. So, drift drifter, I need you to do construction construction as much as possible. Honestly, we need you to do some construction here. Um, current outfit. Okay. So let's check your schedule here, drifter. I need you to do some work for a bit. Just do anything, honestly. Just anything will be fine, honestly. But just prioritize working. Just constructing, you know? If you're not doing anything right now, which I'd assume you're not doing anything, right? What are you doing? What are you current? You're just wandering. Okay, well, start building. <laughs> go. Oh, you're actually gonna go... You're gonna go construct concrete. Okay. Very nice. 
That'll make the floor nice and comfortable, at least for a little bit, you know? When they build the coolers, it should, if they can, we're gonna move the, uh, we're gonna move them. This is gonna be a cooler area. We're gonna make it specifically for food and stuff like that. And then we obviously need someone to go hunt some. A local raccoon has gone mad. It will attack anyone it sees. Oh no, that's the raccoon I've been trying to tame all day. Wait, is it? <laughs> I think so. It somehow turned age 5 all of a sudden. Don't even know how, but it just did. Oh shit, it's coming. Oh god, he's coming. John! John, I need you to go grab a knife right now. You need to defend yourself. Oh god. John, he's coming. John, defend yourself. John, run! John? <laughs> run! John! John, are you okay? Are you okay, John? <sighs> he has a couple. He's he has a couple bites. Okay. Fuck that raccoon. Okay. Dude, he fucked you up. Pretty bad. Construction botched. Why? Because you can't- you can't fucking- Okay, hold on. You fucking absolute dumbass. Hold on. Fucking do plant cutting, you fucker. Do it out of your better judgment. I know how much you fucking hate it, but you gotta do it. Look at John. John, are you like really badly injured right now? You need to, like, chill out, I think. Okay. To woo Dweeb by describing her delicate... Dweeb does not respond. Okay. That's not good. He actually started bleeding everywhere. As you can see, he's not doing too good. But John, you did good for the most part. You're injured, you're in pain, but you're not really a fighter to begin with. And you were being chased down by a raccoon, because of course you did. <sighs> like, of, of course. These alpacas need to be need to be put in storage as soon as possible. God damn it, dweeb. Why are you fucking walking around? Okay, are you fine? 
Your plight, you still have the plague. How long has they have they had the plague for? Does anybody else have the plague? Do you have the plague? Body loss or blood loss. Uh oh. And you're fine. Okay, so no one else really has the plague. It's just them. Which is good, because most of the time they're not really hanging out around here. And John's just here bleeding on the ground while talking to whoever. John needs to heal. He's he's doing some healing himself now. What happened? Oh, okay. Psyche Soothe. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Jerbear thinks you should give your faction um, a name. What should your faction be called? Um, formidables. Jaber also thinks you should give this settlement a name. What should the local settlement be called? Cowwell. Hold on. Let's see here. End with. Hmm. I jest. Okay. Tribituary wood. <laughs> Tribituary wood. <laughs> um. Tribituary wood. Rimville. There you go. There's a good one. Rimville. Perfect. They are called the Rim Veil. I don't know why I had to kill those llamas, honestly. What is she making currently? Doing research? Why are these not getting built? They're, they're, they're building, right? I guess she'd rather not. Dweeb? What the hell? There's a nice little raccoon. Is that one raccoon at that we killed? Here it is. Why is this not being picked up? Okay, whatever. Maybe they need something to build it. Construction needed five. Wait, does she not have construction five? Oh, she doesn't have construction five. Who has construction five? Okay, he does. Jerbear. So that means we can't even finish this until Jerbear fucking does it so jerbear i need you to immediately i need to fix your schedule i need you to only do home but i need you to work okay what time is it i don't know what time it is right now but i need you to do anything right now and one of them is go over here and fix that area Okay, can you do that? Okay. Uh... Spoils in 12 hours.
Okay, well. Um, let's let's do some zones here. Oh, we should do a growing zone. That's another thing I forgot to do. We need to do a growing zone. We'll do it like right around here. And we can uh we can also choose the plant. Let's definitely I I think we should do rice, honestly. Rice is good. Let's do rice. Okay, and then, um, this area, we'll rename it to be Foods. Meals. So it's gonna be Raw Resources Manufactured. What's in Manufactured? Medicine, Drugs, uh, maybe Drugs. Um, raw resources, uh, ooh, we'll do plants, but not like stones and shit, right? There we go. Maybe uranium. No. We'll just do kind of like plant matter manufactured would be medicine like oh yeah like nothing of that but we could definitely put medicine in here that would probably be pretty good to have um alcohol all that stuff yeah that's good that'll be fine mortar shells yeah no <laughs> no 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 Medicine will be fine. Textiles, no. Manufactured in general, no. But hey, food. And all that stuff, that's good. That can go in there. Okay, priority. We're gonna make that important. It's important to have those put in there immediately in this area. Okay. And we can always expand it if we need to. And then this is, of course, the food area, I guess. I don't know why I put it, like, right outside the, the thing, but, you know, whatever. Oh, thank you. Summer has begun, but winter is coming. Your food and crops won't grow in the winter cold. Be sure to store enough food to survive. You can build a walk-in refrigerator to prevent food from spoiling. Buy steel or make some parkas or you'll freeze. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to make a tailor and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this needs electricity. Hold up. That needs electricity, which we need to build. So, hold up. Hold the fuck up. So, we need, like... We need, like, structure, or furnace, power, here we go, power. We need, like, a generator or something, like a wood-fired generator. Perfect. We can build a wood-fired generator right outside, or right here, or, yeah, let's place that right there, and then we're gonna take the power conduit and take it all the way over to that easy and then we'll even bring it over to there too okay easy yeah putting food medicine all that stuff in there would be a good thing yeah we're low on food that's not good and we need defenses john Okay, what are your what are your needs? Okay? What are your needs? Beauty. Recreation. Okay. Well, we could like maybe do some recreation, right? We could add like a 
You can add like a, a like a chess board to play some board games on. Or actually, no wait, let's do poker. Easy. Never mind, I can't do that. Can't do that either. But we can do this. Perfect. And then we'll even we'll even assign in your schedule. We'll even add like a recreation period, like for like three hours where you can just chill out, you know? Or two two hours. We'll have like a recreation for three three hours. Easy. You'll be fine. We'll be fine. You're doing good, John. But we are dangerously low on food. So we need we need um like high priority on like hunting. This needs to be high top priority. That needs to be top priority. So like, or actually, you'll be fine. Just do your thing for now. But yeah, they need to go do their thing. Okay. Go do your thing. And he's, he's just gonna stay here. He still has... He's actually developed an immunity to the plague. I guess we've been doing a good job at keeping him in bed because he's actually developed an immunity, dude. Which is very good. I'm very proud of you, dude. Nice. That'll help for the future. Uh, let me actually add... Um... Actually, he's building it. Yeah, our construction worker guy here. He's 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 our boy. He's doing the construction work. That needs um power. But yeah. We want to we want to lower the temperature for this. We want it to be, um, negative 9 degrees Celsius. That's, that's pretty cold. That's actually really cold. Hold on. It's like freezing. How can you make that? Does it tell you? Okay. Well, let's just keep it like... We'll keep it like negative 10 degrees so Okay. Celsius, I guess. Wait. How cold does food have to be? Um... Okay. Zero degrees Fahrenheit or negative 18 degrees Celsius. Oh, the freezer temperature. So let's do, let's do negative four for like fridge temperature. How about that? Let's do like negative four here. This one can stay about four or zero. We'll make it like one. <laughs> How about that? Hmm. Okay. Well, hopefully that'll be fine. I should probably rename that to fridge. Oh, yep, those bodies are rotting. Awesome.
Yeah, they have a nice little, uh, uh, wooden chest table. Easy. We can even build some chairs for it, too. Hold on. Furniture. Let's build some chairs. How about that, if we can? There you go. Dining chair or a stool. Let's add, um... Let's add, like... Hold on. Let's add, like, two chairs here. Easy. There you go. Not only that, let's add a chair here, too. Just so it's easier for them to sit on. Alright, there you go. Enjoy. We even make some, uh, stuff here. We do, however, need to cut wood. I remember. How are you, by the way? You're fine? He's in medium pain. Okay. Not too bad. He's having a nice little sit. He's playing chess. Oh, okay. Damn, shoddy. Okay. I guess these body these um these corpses aren't worth their time to put in here. Even though I specifically said that like raw resources you know like food like I don't know animals could go there, you know? That would be great. Um a Boomalope has become tame. It is now designated as Boomalope 1. Okay, cool. We have a tame Boomalope. Just one, though. I don't know why. But. Yeah, have fun, I guess. He's coming over to say hi to us. Kind of freezing there. Stargazing. Ah, that's cute. Are you feeling less stressed now? Yeah, he's neutral now. He's good. He's not feeling too bad, but it's ranged weapon. Signed hunter, but does not have a ranged weapon. Okay. Um, you're not a hunter, are you? Um. Okay. It's not drafted. Let's take it out of them then. How do I like drop the bolt action weapon? And then equip that. How about that? And then um you can go do what you need to do. He's just kind of doing his thing. Aw, poor baby. Boomalope. Oh, we can use him for milk. Oh! We can use him for milk now. That's cool. Uh, let's actually do a little zone. Let's do a... Uh, let's do a little, little area for like our little pet, I guess, or furniture. Let's see. We could probably plan a couple of those. Shelves. We could probably put some shelves up. Uh, wooden animal sleeping box. That would be kind of nice, maybe. But, um, look, strong bones. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's do, uh, 
Let's add a, a shelf, a wooden shelf right here. Maybe even right here too. In the, the old fridge. How about that? Dear thing. Uh, now they slumber. They take a snap. A snap, a nap. How are you doing on your plague? My, uh, yeah, he, he's, he's still, I guess, has it. I don't know. He, he's only suffered minor blood loss, but I, he'll be fine. How are you doing, guinea pig? You're, you're fine. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, schedule. Let's see here. Uh, work. Um, how are you doing... Your bear. I think I said yeah, I didn't want you to do mining, but I, I'll go ahead and let you do normal prior, like low priority. And uh, yeah, let's do some mining on that. But um, so you can go back to doing that if you'd like. Everything else should be fine, but we definitely need to go hunting. <laughs> like hunting is a priority. Go hunt. Shoo. Go on. How do I how do I get you to hunt? Are you gonna go hunt? Or not? Okay. I guess I just tell them to go hunt something. So, uh, there's some cool donkeys over here. Could probably shoot them, I guess. Or actually, go kill these deers. How about that? Go hunt a deer. Go hunt these animals. Yeah, go do that. <laughs> you both go hunt. Yeah, there you go. Look at them. Bum bum. Dun dun dun. Are you uh cold or are you fine? Okay. Here we go. You missed. You missed. You missed. You missed. You missed. Yeah, okay. I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> oh my god, you hit him. You actually hit them. Now they're running. <laughs> they're running now. Oh my god. It's bleeding out. There you go. Kill it. And then take the body or something. Please don't hit Dweeb on accident somehow. Oh, what? How did that miss? Okay, you know what? This is just, this is just painful to watch. Okay, he, he gave up. He's gonna go play chess now. Even though you guys need food. Yeah, there you go. You killed one. Good. It's dead. It's already dead! Okay. Now I guess we need someone to go haul those, correct? Let's see. Hauling. Carry things to where they need to be. Yeah, well, these need to be carried uh, if I can. Well, I, I, uh, they'll probably do it. They'll be fine. You know what? Honestly, you could probably just let that die. Same with this guy. You can probably just let those die. You know, you could probably grab these uh, or don't. That's cool, too. Um, just don't do that, I guess. That would be cool, I guess. I, <laughs> I guess John here is gonna have to... Let me lower... Let me lower his, um, unrestricted. Uh, and see here. I need... Those need to be carried as soon as possible. So, Jair Bear, I need you to, like... Go haul those things that need to be hauled. If that's, you know, what you can do. <laughs> Go do that. Go 
carry the bodies, I guess. Or, like, cut them up or something. Okay, he's gonna go mine. Which is not what I want him to do, actually. Uh, where's your mining? Yeah, no, that, that's your that's your lowest priority possible. So what are you gonna do now? You're wandering. Oh my god, just pick up the fucking bodies. How do you, like, use this? <laughs> How do you... Uh, maybe they're just, maybe it's just too heavy for them to carry. Uh, they're both dead, obviously, right? Yeah, you're dead, and you're dead. Those are the two corpses that I want them to carry out. But I... Okay. Wildlife, no. A sign, here we go. A sign. No, no. A sign. Spy. Nudist. No. Uh. I, I don't think I can. Can I? I? I guess I can't. Okay. I can't just assign them to go pick it up. They, they have to figure it out themselves or something. I just want- okay. Architect. Is there something I need to build for them to do what they need to do? Structure orders. I had them hunt them. The least they could do is... Slaughter a tame... Animal. It's to be hunted by your hunters. Oh, yeah. Tame animals. Claim. Strip. Open. Chop wood. Hunt. Okay, so there's no way for me to just straight up tell them to take these huntable animals. Okay, these guys. There you go. Those can be hunted, but... I'm not really worried about that at the moment. I just want you guys to fucking grab the ones that you have currently. Just do that. Here you go. Haul things. Haul this. Oh my fucking god. Okay. <sighs> Maybe I should use the internet. I feel like the internet will help. Internet. There you go. Internet already has something. I can't... Okay. See what they had to say. I have... Okay. I have a storage place. So it's literally... Look. Okay. Look. Come over here. Bam. Right here. You see this fridge? Look at that. Food. Bam. Done. This right here, this area, stockpile storage. Do not allow food. Raw resources is fine, but not exactly priority or whatever, right? So this is normal priority. This is top priority. You're supposed to do this, okay? It's important to put food, always allow rotten, always allow anything, right? Zero to 100 hit points. Raw resources, I have everything here. Internet is overrated. What? <laughs> I, I mean, like, I guess. They don't really exactly help what I'm looking for. Uh. Okay. Should you build a slaughter? Oh, I probably should. Yeah, you're right. Hold on. If that's a thing that I can do. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, butcher table. That's what I need. You're right. I do, in fact, need that. Uh, let's add the butcher table, like, here. Uh, and just get that built immediately. That's probably why. 
I need to do that. And then there's the f fueled stove, which, you know, I can do whatever heal. Cook a simple meal. I could even cook a larvish meal if possible. Has this even been done? I guess we need raw, like, food to do it, which we'll, we'll get a hold of, I guess. Let's see. Oh, no, they're straight up just going to go hunt those, I guess. Yeah, go go do that. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Chair bear? Chair bear? Chair bear? What are you doing? Chair bear? Chair bear? Chair bear? Chair bear? What are you doing? Chair bear? That is a low priority. I need you to do construction right now. That is a high priority. Go do that instead. Mining is not important. Stop it. Stop it, Jerbear. Go. Go build that. Th there you go. D whatever the fuck you're doing. Yeah. Better to use square for fresh kill. Square. What the hell are these people? Um, a caravan from the Blue Valley Pact is approaching. They are shaman merchant. They will hang around the colony for some time before leaving. You can attack them, but they will anger this faction. Their faction. Okay, well, we're neutral with them, so I guess they can hang around and do whatever. Uh, where's that, um... I know I had, like, a dump stockpile here at some point, but I guess not. So, let's add a dump, like, stockpile. Just kind of, like... Just random stuff just can go, like, right here. How about that? Just, like, random things can go right there. That should help. Oh, hold on. Okay. Okay, he's just gonna mine. <laughs> he's just gonna go mine, I guess. And now he's gonna play chess. It's free, just clean up blood. Okay. Well, let me see here. Production. Do we have... We do have a butcher spot. You're right. Let's just add, like, a butcher spot in general. That would be a good choice, yeah. There we go. We'll just put that there and then drag whatever stuff in here. Like, food and stuff like that. Hopefully that'll do it. Let's see. Tool cabinet. What the fuck is a tool ca- Here. Here's the tool cabinet. Enjoy. Oh my god. These guys are a bunch of, of freeloaders. That's what they are. Look at them. Why are you sleeping in the- In here? This place is cold. Okay, they're leaving. Thank God. Okay, hold on. Can I go find those bodies? These ones right here. Okay, they'll they'll probably grab them. Because one of them is gone now. Did you... If you haven't noticed, those bodies are gone now. The only thing I can think of is... They're here. <gasps> they're here. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's see. Dead body. Okay. So we have a butcher square. Which I guess they can use that if they even built it. I'd assume the butcher spot is fine. They're just putting junk in there now, I guess. Cleaning up the... That area. Yeah, he's just gonna mine, I guess. I, I think I should just... Mining... Hold on. Zone... Uh, orders. Here we go. Just cancel, like, this stuff going on. Just cancel this. Just cancel it. We'll do that another time. Just don't worry about it anymore. I'm tired of, of him dealing with that. I just want to... I want Jer Bear to do something else instead of just... Laying on the ground dying. There you go. Go do something. Productive. 
Oh, we finished the recur recurve bow. Look at that. Well, I guess now we can um we can do some other things here. Uh Okay. Water mill generator, hydroponics. Let's do a great bow. And what happened? Come on. Come on, guys. Really? You're not gonna... Okay, hold on. Deconstruct that. And then... Production. There you go. Do that. That'll be fine. And then... Uninstall that. Let's see. There you go. And then tool cabinet here. Or something. I don't know. Just something. Apparently we're building it again. Whatever. Cool. This isn't being built. <laughs> Probably because we don't have wood. Uh, okay, wood. Orders, go chop wood. There you go, go chop these woods right here. Go, go do that, enjoy. Go chop that. I guess, there you go. Go do that and then once you figure that out, just build shit. Who has the knife, by the way? Do you have the knife? You don't even have a weapon. Hold on. John? Okay, where the fuck is- the Here's the knife. Hey, you. Equip that knife. There you go. Well. Very interesting day. But. <sighs> it's not over yet. Okay. These bodies are gonna spoil because they're too busy not um, doing anything about the bodies. Even though I specifically have asked them multiple times to build it. But now they're just getting around to building this fucking chair. Okay, are they just not gonna keep cutting trees? Oh my fucking god. Wow, you built a butcher table. If they'll fucking take them to the fucking <laughs> freezer. Uh, you know what the issue is? Is that this is probably not like... This isn't cold enough to be freezer here. I'll make it like... But like 10 degrees Celsius. And I'll make this like 4. How about that? Or 5. How about that? 15. Negative 15 degrees. That should be cold enough. Was that enough for you guys? No? No, you're just gonna go cut trees. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Major break risk. What are your needs? Beauty, your mood is just down in general, even though I, I don't- I don't know what to tell you, buddy. 
You keep cutting those berries so you can eat them, I guess. We somehow got fuel, actually. Kim fuel. Because of unroofed outdoors. Okay, here. I'll just roof the area then. How about that? <laughs> Will that make you happy? Hold on. Production. No, zone uh, structure. Where's the roof button? <laughs> Floors. Where's the roof? Structure. No. Uh, zone. Build roof area. There you go. We'll build a roof area over this. Build a roof over a popular a poplar tree. Well then cut the fucking tree. Cut plant. Chop down tree. Chop, cut tree. Cut tree. There you go, easy. Enjoy. Have fun. Wait. What is this? Berries. Oh. Sad. God. Look who decided to show up. Some more people. Large meteorite has struck the ground and has left behind a lump of compact... Compacted machinery. Here? Wait. Where? Oh, over here. Wait, no? Whatever. Interesting. Well, now they're here. Hey, do you guys happen to know how to get these fucking bodies into the, uh, to the thing? No. <sighs> okay. Well. Who's taking a piss? Whatever. Alright, now we're sleeping. Bye-bye, corpses. You you were nice, but... <laughs> you just don't want to be taken. You don't want to be taken in here. I've designed it specifically so they can put stuff... Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's my fault! Dude, it's my fault! <laughs> I'm an idiot. I, I didn't have corpses. You checked. I clicked off corpses. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. No wonder why it wasn't working. God damn it. Well, we have one corpse so far. <laughs> okay, let's let's do this here. Let's um let's butcher a creature. Times ten. Do it forever. Just butcher. Just anybody do it, you know. Human like corpses, yeah. Let's eat corp let's eat humans while we're at it. Why not? Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, go 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 chop that body up. Why, why won't you? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't even add a bill to this either. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, you live and you learn, I guess. <laughs> Fuck. You live and you learn. There you go. They can eat. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Yep. Um, we should also make it so it can... <laughs> it can do, like, rotted food too, if that's possible. I'm sure that's somewhere in here. 
allow fresh yeah just whatever just do it and then um i will say i do want to fix this um with corpses i want to get rid of um like uh bones <laughs> don't starve listen they're doing fine <laughs> They're low on food. They have like one day's worth of food, but they're cooking, you know? They're doing it. And now, not only that. There's a turkey. Dude, we got a turkey we can kill. Easy. And then we have some, um... Some apex dotes, or whatever they're called. We'll just go ahead and put them in the hunting hunting list. There we go. Can choose to hunt those. Easy. There you go. We we got food as a, a thing. Now look at that. Look at that. We got a plate, and we can put the food in here for us to eat. Easy, dude. Okay. <laughs> See, we're good, dude. We're good. How's the, like, roof area going on here? Hold on. Uh, zones. Let's see. Roofs. Yeah, yeah. We have, like, a roof kind of thing going on here. Oops. What are you doing? Oh, you're eating grass. We should probably get, like, some kind of, like... I feel like we need to build something. Like, I don't know. Maybe, like, a way to, like... Put all this milk in something? I don't know. Because I, I feel like... We don't even have cloth, by the way. And how, th this food won't ever spoil. We have rotting, but that'll be fine. It's in like, negative 15 degrees in there. Okay, our boys are doing fine. They're killing some things over here. Oh shit, we can actually allow these. Yeah, they're killing, they're killing them. They're doing their job. It's actually thundering outside, by the way. Ooh shit. Yo, a squirrel? Could kill that. By the way, if you hear thunder, that's, uh, it's, like, thundering out. I don't know if it's, like, raining or something. Potato plant. Growth rate. 30% grown. So, got stuff going on here. Minor break rest. Who is it? Dweeb again? Dweeb. It's fine. It, it's never going to spoil. It'll be fine. It's been dead for three days. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Look, we even have some um, bones that we can probably use. And berries. It'll be fine. There you go. Look, we're even taking this fresh deer corpse. And that's immediately going to be taken over here to get butchered. So they can start making dishes. Actually, just do it X amount of times. Just do it forever. Just do it forever. Actually, I just realized. Do it about like 10 times. Suit 20. They're actually putting the food in a better spot. They might, they might be putting the food on the shelves. I can't tell. Or maybe they're just eating it. They're stressed out, though. Comfort. Yeah. Comfort is 
furniture. Okay, here. Let's let's build a chair. How about that? Uh, let's build let's build a nice little comfortable chair right here. Easy. And then we can build a uh. You can build like a, a stool like right here, so you can like sit down, you know. Okay. Well, anyways. What's going on over here? Jar Bear's doing something. I don't know what Jar Bear's doing. What are you doing? Oh, you're picking those up. Okay. He's still hunting this turkey. To extinction. Yeah, you're doing great. That'll be some good food right there. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what, John. That's some good-ass food. Oh yeah, I don't know why we're giving this guy who has literally cataracts on his eyes um, to kill these things, but he, he, he is, so. Proud of him. Very good. Very, very good. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. How about you just go rest for a bit? Hold on. Schedule. Um, you just need to relax, honestly. You need to relax for multiple days. We should kind of have, like, a, like, rest period every, like, two days or so, right? Or, well, not every two days, but, like, every couple hours, let's have them have, like, a time to chill out for a little bit. You know? Jesus, the rain is really bad. There we go, we got a turkey. Are you nice and hungry? Yep, food has gone straight up with these guys. Instantly they have food to eat. Which has been forever. They haven't had food in a long time. Where's Dweeb at? There you are. You're just going for a walk, okay. Yeah, let your let your your walk go, whatever. And your comfort needs to is completely zero, but you know, you'll be fine. And the next day you'll 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 be good. But in the morning when they wake up, they'll have recreation so they can just do whatever. Need warm clothes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Dude. Oh, no. They need warm clothes. Okay, well. Uh, <laughs> I guess we'd have to build a tailor for that, wouldn't we? An electric tailor. We'd have to go and cut wood. For that kind of stuff. Okay, well. That was fun. <laughs> for now. I'm gonna end it here though. Just because, uh, it's getting pretty late. And I, I have work tomorrow, so. Yeah, uh. I'll see you, uh, Sunday. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, uh, on Sunday, but, um, we'll see. I might, could, I think I'm gonna continue Stalker, because I've been meaning to do that. I've been waiting till work has been out of the way to do that, so, Stalker will be continuing tomorrow, or Sunday, so, yep. I will see you then, by the way. Um, I love I've been really I really enjoyed stalker the first playthrough though, and I probably will come back to RimWorld um, In the future because I really enjoyed streaming this today. It's a lot of fun um, But yes, I it depends on how I feel <laughs> uh, So Sunday it'll be stalker Monday it'll probably maybe be RimWorld if I'm feeling up to it depends on how I feel but um, Yeah And then uh, 
uh, I'm just now catching up. I think I've pretty much caught up on the Fallout VODs. So I'm going to go back to doing more Fallout modded soon. Which is probably the plan. So I can continue with that playthrough. Um, and yeah, that's the deal. Have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, and a good night. I will see you in the next one.